All right, guys, so the first day we bought this, the electric part to hook up to the truck was not long enough to reach this truck, so we just extended it. We put it from here to here, so hopefully this is gonna be long enough. So we're gonna hook up the boat right now and make sure the lights and stuff work, so yes. The update, so we ended up moving it up to the all the way up to the front just so we have plenty of extra room so when we don't turn it, or when we turn it, won't rip it. So we got that, and only the this side works i don't so yeah so only the left side blinkers and brake works so we gotta fix that and then now we're gonna move this up to like right here because right now when you turn the handle your hands will pinch right here and obviously that hurts so we're gonna move it up so we don't have that problem anymore all right guys so we got this sucker the handle on the wheel i don't remember what the hell they're called but we got it moved all the way up so now once you spin it you're not gonna hit your hand which is perfect because hitting your hand or pinching your hand in there sucks. But yeah, that's a lot better than it was before. All right, guys, so right now, it's just stapling the carpet on the inside because whoever did this before did a terrible job. It's all loose and doesn't look very nice. So that's what we're doing now. All right, guys, so it's the next day now and we just went to Walmart to grab some supplies. Uh, so the front part of the boat, we'll show you when we get back to the house. But the front of the boat, we need to fill it up to like ground level. Like that's gonna be the flat part of the boat. We need to fill it up because it's Jesus. Holy, it's about smoke your ass. You dumbass. Jesus Christ. Some people are kind of retarded. Oh. I totally thought he was gonna hit you. Oh man. You can't switch lanes in the I'm middle triggered. of the intersection. Yeah, whoever you are, you're driving a white Chevy. You're retarded. It's only if you're that person. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we got back to the house. And this is the stuff that we picked up, uh, stuff right here. It's like five bucks a can. It was $10 exactly, which is kind of cool. But so this stuff we're going to spray down in like these things to fill that up, add some support to it. And then we're going to put plywood across the bottom of it just for a flooring and uh yeah we'll go from there so we're gonna put you guys on time lapse and you're gonna watch us fill this puppy up so yeah That stuff didn't work right, or we didn't use it right, one of the two, but we need more. So uh, I'll see you guys back when we got more. All right, guys, so it's like one or two days or more later, but we got more. Got three cans of, I don't know what it's called. Great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> called great stuff. But uh, yeah, this is what we're filling in. All right, so we need to, f we're not gonna fill all these anymore. Now we're just gonna fill like, the structures through here and then maybe put some along the edges for more support when we put the plywood on top of it and so we're gonna see how far three cans will get us we this is how far two of the more expensive cans got us and these ones are not as expensive so i got three of them like 233 or something. no those are like 387 so they're still kind of expensive so hopefully hopefully this stuff works well so uh slap you guys on time-lapse mode and you guys can watch us pour it all over this thing. So uh, we used two of these cans and we got a good amount. So what we tried to do is fill underneath these little fiberglass, fiberglass structures to give them more support. And then underneath where the plywood will be sitting, 
we put some foam under there and then just filled in gaps and cracks and whatnot. So, uh, what do you say? It takes eight hours. Eight hours to cure. So, tomorrow, or really, really late tonight, <laughs> we can check on this stuff and see how it It'll is. Be at 10 o'clock. Yeah. So, tomorrow probably. But yeah, so. Uh, next up on our list for today is we're going to be taking these supports out because it's so rusted out in the middle that it's not going to do much and just leaving them in is going to be harder to put a deck in this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these out and then once we put our deck in, we're probably going to, we're going to fasten the two sides of the boat together just to get more structure and then the, the deck will help with giving the boat more structure so she doesn't fall apart on us when we're ripping lips. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, guys, we got it off and it literally just fell apart without doing anything to it. So. That's what was holding our boat together. Yeah. When we say that was not very structurally sound, it was not very structurally sound. That one was a lot more than the other one. <laughs> but it wasn't much. Let's just say that. So it's a good thing we got that out of there. Because now we have, it's easier for us to work in there and it'll be easier to build more stuff in here. And now we might actually end up doing rod lockers, so that'll be dope. Yeah. Can you go to Schulze's and get that plywood for us? Please? No, because I have to go to work in like 20 minutes. Well, when you go there, can you pick it out and then me and Jordan come pick it up? Yeah, it has to be tomorrow, though. Why not today? I go, I go drive bus to. Oh, I thought you meant. Okay. You so could probably go to the back counter and just put it under my phone number. So we could do that and pick it up. Yeah, just go get one sheet. I would just start with one sheet because I can get you a couple pieces if you want. Okay. But you want one sheet of three eighths treated. Okay. And then use my phone number, tell them your Ace Rewards is under your dad's account, and give them my phone number. Okay. All right? All right. Are you going to do that then? Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, sounds good. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, Dad. All right, folks, we're leaving Ace Hardware right now, and we got our 4x8 uh, half-inch treated plywood back there. And we actually didn't spend as much as we thought we were going to. Blake, how much did we spend? $25 for a half inch 4x8 thing of treated plywood, which is pretty good price if you know wood prices. But yeah, so we'll see you guys back at the house when we're shaping this puppy out to put it in the boat. Maybe, maybe next episode we're going to take the boat on the water to test her out. Stay tuned. Right, folks, so we're back here home now, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the inside of the boat, which we actually just did off camera. So we, we're going to cut out the plywood at 47 inches wide for the whole 8-foot length on the table saw. And then as we, or after we get it out to, so it's 47 inches wide, we're going to put it in the boat and see where it fits, just based off the measurements we took. And then we're just going to slowly fit it and hopefully get a perfect fit. So I think this is going to work quite well. I'm going to slap you guys on time-lapse mode and you guys can watch us do this. Blake, how do you think this is going to go? I think it's going to go perfect. I know, me too. Our plan sounds good. Sounds like going to work, but no plan is always perfect. So we'll see how this goes. But yeah.
All right, folks, I don't know how well you guys can tell, but we're getting a lot closer here. I mean, we're still off, yes, but we're getting a lot closer. Yep, we're gonna have to take off more from the back here, too. Yeah. Um, Alrighty. Well, let's see, we need more in the middle. No, we don't need more in the middle. It's just that this is popping up like this. So once we cut in the head, it'll be going like that. Okay. Do we want to try cutting this up here? Yeah. Let's cut just the little angles. Yeah. We can probably, here, get a sharpie. We can probably, maybe we can just do that. Doodle it a little bit. Yeah! Don't know which one works. Catch. Not this one. <laughs> so yeah, just like kind of cut off angles like that. We don't need much off. Let's just try a little bit first mm -hmm. and just see what it does. For the front, should we use the cardboard huh? to sketch it out? We can just try this at first. As long as we have most of it sitting on this outer part, I think yeah. we'll be good. We'll cock it down. Yeah, we'll cock it down. Cock it down. And we have more another bottle of spray. That's true, we do. Couldn't find a jigsaw, man. That sun is bright. So we're gonna use a handheld circular saw. Stay tuned. This is gonna be freaking interesting. Rip it, Charlie. We got a damn jigsaw now, so that'll help. All right, let's speed this process up here. Thank you. 